if nothing else happens cool the rest of the season, this is the coolest. <laughs> The one I've been waiting for forever. I mean, I swear she looked like she was grabbing back in May and June, um, but turns out she wasn't. Um, she is finally, finally, finally on her any day now dropping her eggs, um, which is Sindel. She's our cinnamon luster, and she was bred to Cyrax. Or oh, I took it down. He's a cinnamon, um, cinnamon ghost, uh, or cinnamon hypo. Um, champagne lesser so again I think I've said this like three or four times in anticipation of what's going to be dropping possibilities are super cinnamons also bells also gray matters um, this is a this is a big clutch and I'm pretty sure she's as big as she is she looks like she's probably gonna have at least eight I'm I'm gonna Put my my vote in there that she drops at least eight eggs but let me show you what i'm talking about well she rolled back over but earlier when i just looked in here before i went and got my phone she was completely inverted and her vent is just like just barely not protruding like it looks like it's she's getting ready to open up anytime so I would be willing to bet that tomorrow morning I come out here and she's got a clutch of eggs sitting underneath her. If not, I'll be missing my guess uh, tremendously. But anyway, um, fingers crossed and hope hope you have a good birth uh, tonight, Mama. She's such a good girl too. She's like so chill. She doesn't she don't hiss or nothing. She's not hit shy. She's a proven mama. She gave us eggs two years ago, and those babies were awesome. So I'm expecting her to do, do really good things for us. Um, but again, it's probably going to be the last one for us. That'll be four clutches for the year. But she's definitely one to go out with a bang. Um, nothing to complain out with that clutch at all. Hopefully we get some really cool stuff. Just a quick update on our bell which is a blue-eyed leucistic, or AKA super lesser. Um, also, is definitely an inchy. So we have definitely a bell, definitely an inchy, and definitely a banana, and definitely a male. So one, two, three, four genes in a bell. So the only downside is that it took away the bright blue eyes and gave him black eyes. But the kids are disappointed in that. They wanted to see an original, authentic bell. But I still think it's pretty dang cool to uh, have hatched our first all-white snake, even though it's got black eyes. It kind of looks like a super fire, but whatever. I'm going to take it. But then again, you know, the, the other clutch was Sindel. She could be giving us some um, authentic blue-eyed leucistics too. So who knows? Maybe we'll keep one of those if we get to. Maybe not. Who knows? But either way, it's pretty cool. Um, moving along to the other one in this clutch. This one is um, probably going to my cousin, Josh Kistler in Ohio. Um, he showed a lot of interest. I'm not sure if he still is, but um, this is a super enchi banana. And he has already and he has already eaten 8, 8, 8, 15, and 8, 22. So probably one more, Josh, and then I'll be ready to ship him to you if you're still interested. If not, I've got other people that are interested, especially after this video comes out. This is um, a vanilla banana, and this vanilla banana also has a really cool par paradox. Let me see if I can show you. Um, there. See, look like it's a normal snake coming out on the side of him. It's banana vanilla everywhere except for that little spot. And like, I want to be normal, but I'm not going to be normal. So that's pretty cool. I've never hatched a paradox before. But look at the lavender in that thing. 
Justin, I think you're going to be really happy with this guy. The, the yellow is so bright. The lavender is, is really cool looking too. And then that paradox just really sets it off. Please don't bite me. He's eaten um, twice. And the other one in that clutch, I think is, um, this is a female, I think it's a vanilla, but it could be, um, um, it could be a pastel, but I, th I think it's a vanilla. This one is really cool. Like this one eats like a freaking lunatic. And I think what this one is, is a Sterling Lesser, which is a super pastel cinnamon lesser. Um, I think so. But it's kind of weird. It almost looks like it's, it almost looks like it's fading out on top. And I'm not really sure why, because everything I look at at Morph Market doesn't really look like that. So not 100% sure on that one either. Oh my gosh. Today is finally the day. Oh, I'm so excited. Those are big eggs, mama. I don't want to stress you out. I'm going to close it back up. Come back and see you later. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's see how much pro uh, progress she's made. You're done? No, you're not done. I still see more eggs in there. Don't you get too huffy puffy, I'm just looking. I see one, two, three, four, five, and she's still got more in there, I think. <laughs> Funny how they changed their demeanor. She was nothing but sweet when she's holding the eggs now that she's protecting them. Look how defensive she looks. And she's still got more eggs coming. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. Do your thing. All right, it's been like four hours now. Let's see how much progress she's made. She's probably done by now. Yeah, she's done. Sitting up there nice and tight. I'm not gonna pull them right now because I've got stuff to do and I wanna wait till the kids get home from school. But I just wanted to show a quick update. Good job, mom. Good job. Isn't it cool how they have no hands and no feet but sweep out the entire tub? Like how clean she's made her nest. That's just amazing to me. Look who came to see me. Sometimes she comes out because she's hungry. Sometimes she comes out just because she wants to be petted. She knows there's movement in the snake room, so she just comes on out to go see who it is and see if she can get some attention. Okay, I've waited as long as I can wait. The kids are um, off doing their own thing. Nobody's interested, not even Jordan's interested in being here right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these eggs and get Sindel uh, cleaned up and uh, back in a clean tub so she can start uh, feeding once again. Um, so let me go ahead and take her off.
And I missed my guest. I thought for sure she was gonna have eight eggs, but it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like last year. It wasn't last year, it was two years ago. Um, it's gonna be a short video because there's not much for me to talk about. Um, I'm just gonna put these exactly how she laid them. Just like that. Six big, beautiful eggs. With any luck, we'll have a twin because we've never had a twin here. Um, let me put the pressing seal on here. Sorry about the camera work because I don't have a key here to help hold it. So I had to improvise and um, put the, uh, what do you call it, tripod up on some blocks and and not blocks, but tubs, empty tubs. Anyway, just a quick um, lesson for people that um, watch this and just are really interested in learning. Um, most people that watch this probably have heard me say this before, but anyway. We take the mom away from the eggs because in the wild, Not all of the eggs would hatch because she's sitting on them. She's trying to protect them from predators. The temperatures are not steady. They're not constant. So her best hopes are that the inner ones, the ones that are closest to the inside, get the most heat and the outer ones are kind of sacrificed in hopes that the outer ones will be the ones that um, protect the inner ones and then the inner ones will hatch. So in the wild, maybe two out of two or three out of these six would hatch. Um, but also the other reason is the moms go off food for at least pretty close to 60 days before they lay eggs. And then if they were to incubate, they would be off feet for another 60 days. So that's a long time to be without any food. So we go ahead and take them and get them cleaned up um, we wash them in a little bit of um, soapy water, let them soak for a little bit to get that egg smell off of their skin so they forget that they just laid eggs and then they'll go back on food pretty quick. It's been my experience in the past that usually all of my moms go back on food within one to two days after they lay eggs. Um, so I'm going to take this tub, dump all the bedding out, get brand new bedding and uh, scrub the tub really good with disinfectant. And then um, hopefully in the next day or two, Cinda will start eating again. But anyway, we've got six big, big, huge eggs. I marked today's date, which is 9-2-21. And then um, the, the due date is going to be 60 days from today, which is 11-1-21. I'll put these in the incubator. Now, I said um, in the last video that Sindel's probably gonna be the last one for the year, but I was checking out um, Shiva. She's our fire pod, and she definitely looks gravid too, so I expect her to lay eggs um, within the next 15, 20 days. Um, and that's that's the, the surprise clutch. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who the daddy is to that one because I'm hoping for a world's first on that one. Um, so that's it for this time. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in a few weeks. Well, maybe a week. We'll see. Bye.